Hey church, we are John and Alicia McClellan, and uh, we work with our students here at Grace, and we're currently recording this in January, which is a really big month for us because this month marks five years of us being here at Grace. When we first started coming here, because we knew this was a place where we wanted to be for a while and we felt like we had some stability, we wanted to start trying to, to start a parent. We ended up having to pursue fertility treatments for a little over three years and just it was an incredibly challenging and growing season for us to, to kind of take that step. And it was, for me personally, just a roller coaster of emotions. Um, one moment you're feeling good and you're feeling um, hopeful, and then the next you just kind of have this low moment um, where you're just kind of taking, um, just t taking a hit. And so there was just many times where you're trying to balance your emotions and trying to not necessarily give in to to those low times, but um, for me, it was it was a time where I really had to preach truth to myself a lot. So that took us um, to October of 2019. After again over three years of fertility treatment, after three years of shots and tests and doctor's appointments, we sat down with our um, our doctor, and he he basically said, "There's one option left. Uh, it's not guaranteed. And it's really expensive." and um, Melissa and I obviously had a lot of questions and we spent the next couple weeks praying on our own and came together after a couple weeks of prayer and we both felt led in the same direction, which was not per to pursue that last treatment option we had. And um, so basically the, the, the winter and the spring of, of 2020, we were, we were spending a, a season in mourning and in sadness because we were mourning the death of a dream. God did something incredible in our life and that is that He began to heal those, those wounds and those scars. And um, there was a, a trip we took for July 4th. We were invited by some, some good friends um, to go down with them to a lake house and to spend the 4th of July floating on a lake. And so we drove down separately from them. Alicia and I had you know five hours in the car together and we began to talk about our future um, together. And the first time in a long time, the, the talks about our future wasn't filled with sadness. It wasn't filled with this really deep hurt that we, we wouldn't be able to have a family. It was filled with hope and anticipation and excitement. The following week, we came back from that trip, and at that point, our youth group was still doing fully online services on YouTube, and so the following Wednesday was July 8th, um, and I was here with our team. We did a great service for our students online, and I called my wife on the way home. It was about 9.30 at night, and I just said, Alicia, I am exhausted and I'm hungry. I'm eating food and I'm going to bed. And I get home and there is a note waiting for me on the kitchen table, which I got the note and it simply said, uh, John, I know that you will quickly master the dad joke and I know you will be a great father to our little one. Over that 4th of July trip that we had where we realized God had healed our heart, Alicia had been feeling a little different and a little weird. And the day we got back from that trip, she took a pregnancy test and found out that we were pregnant. We have just had an incredible pregnancy um, and just this peace. I'm surprised at how peaceful this pregnancy has been and just trusting that, that God has brought us this child and that He's gonna take care of this child um, for us. And so just being able to enjoy our time right now um, has been a real blessing for us. And we just are incredibly thankful for it. Um, in October, this past October, we had our anatomy scan where we were able to see our little, our little baby. And it had been exactly one year since we decided to quit pursuing our, our treatments. And we had one whole year where we were able to just um, press into God and and really just allow Him to do a work in our, our lives and in our hearts and um, to see it come full circle and from this time of such a low to now such a high um, and, and just being able to experience that, that goodness of God. Um, and so for us, for us it's, it's been more of a, that the whole journey um, coming together and, and seeing that even through the midst of, of sorrow and pain and brokenness, that, that God is still working in our hearts and He's still bringing healing to our hearts. Um, and so regardless whether we end up with a child or not, like God 
God healed our, our hearts and our brokenness. And so from that time, um, we are now five weeks out from being able to meet our, our little one here and just um, incredibly grateful and thankful for um, the grace of God through this past year of our life.